and good afternoon. So it's going to be very difficult to speak after the forest, uh, the forest uh, research presentation and uh, after what Jerry was saying. But uh, I would like to try to do something uh, different because uh, what I'm seeing happening inside a lot of organizations is that uh, we got the need to go digital. We got the need to go more digitalized. We got the need to be more open to the market. We got the need to be open to the customers. But we are having problems to do that. And in my view, there are two fundamental problems that is driving, uh, is making these things very difficult. The first one is something from the organizational point of view, and I'm going to briefly discuss this one. The second one is uh, something from the IT standpoint. The first one from the organizational point of view is, uh, I believe that inside the organization that we have, uh, we got a lot of what we discussed this morning that are what I call the stone cats. So we still have uh, an organization that uh, is not ready to go digital, and not only from the IT standpoint. We have to look at our entire organization. Now, I understand what Jerry was saying, let's try to force IT to do something better, that's fine. But I think we have as well the need uh, to start to educate and uh, make our organization more ready to accept the digital world. At this moment, the concept of changing is a concept that I see very, very, very difficult inside the organization. Maybe it's my organization. I mean, I, in these latest years, I'm more dealing with uh, with the Asian world more than the European world, but so I think that there is even, is even older. But I think that the first point is uh, we need to make sure that the organization is ready. So I think that the IT needs to have, uh, I think, a role of evangelist in trying to move the organization and trying to make uh, these stone cats more ready to move because uh, even if you got the more agile IT organization, but then the people making Jerry's example that is sitting here is not moving. I mean, those guys are becoming mad because they want to get something new. You may be ready to do something new, but the people here in the middle are not ready. So I think that this is the first message. I think we need probably to move out on that corner and try to educate even the people inside the organization to be more more agile in the real sense, in terms of being able to change. The second point that I would like to stress, and this is something that is going to happen there, and I think it's an area where we have lost uh, attention in the last few years. Because in the last few years, what was happening was that uh, we keep uh, listening to the forest people that says we need to go digital. So let's go embrace these poor guys at this end. But what is the situation that we got at that end? Are we doing our own works properly to make sure that the IT part that we are getting is clean? We won't be able to do anything digital, anything new, anything agile, anything fast if our own work here has not been done. And I'm seeing a lot of IT organizations around the world, and I don't see the things evolving or getting better. So something very simple point is how many systems are we running? How many interfaces do we have in our system? How many different codes are we managing? How many different CRM do we got? If we are not cleaning up the mess that we got at home, we will never be able to do anything digital because the freaking guys at this end are going to ask one app that is able to enter an order based on one code. And if you got people at this end that got still 10 different ways to, to managing codes inside the organization, something very simple, you won't be able to do anything freaking digital. 
And it's not because you don't want to be agile. You may be, you are perfectly okay to be agile, but your system there is not ready. So I think that what I call here in my presentation, I don't know if I'm able to press the right button here, is what we call the back to the basic. And the B2B here is back to the basic. I mean, I think there is still work that we need to do inside our organization, especially if you have to deal with merger and acquisition, if you get new organization in and you don't have a model to get those people inside, uh, you won't be able to do to go uh, in a lot of different, different areas. So we are still in a situation, and I don't see this changing in the last few years. I'm not seeing a big, big evolution. I'm still seeing too many systems, not enough time to upgrade the system, many interfaces, too many interfaces. I'm working at this moment in an organization that got 1,800 systems, 10,000 interfaces. Can you be agile in this way? I mean, we go something very simple, 10,000 interfaces. So if we don't do something in that area, I think we won't be able to embrace this folks. So I, I perfectly okay and understand uh, the discussion that we are doing here, but we shouldn't be losing attention in making sure that uh, the foundation are good. The, the data are polished. We are ready in terms uh, in term of, of infrastructure of doing the proper work. If we are losing this focus, uh, and, and we, we move out embracing these guys, we ended up not being able to deliver at the end. So how can we do uh, these things? I think that uh, there are fundamentally two, two things that we have to do. The first one is making sure that the stakeholder understand that we still have to do the proper maintenance and the proper cleaning in what we are doing. We have to make sure that uh, we got something agile in terms of basic system. If this is not true, our digital transformation is not going to happen. At this moment, I'm running on a company that got five different ERPs. A in inside one country alone, we got 1,800 applications. Can we be agile? There is no freaking way. It's simply like that. I mean, there is no, no possibility. And the second point is we need to reward the people based on a progressive and slow cleaning up of, this, of the solution. We need to make sure that the people get the bonus only if they are reducing 10% the interfaces every year, if they are reducing the number of systems, if they are keeping everything upgraded. If we are not doing these things, I think that... Uh, that the things is not going to happen. Now, I'm bringing this discussion that I, I understand that is uh, a bit retro, I mean, <laughs> old style. <laughs> but I, I'm bringing this discussion to this table because going around the world, uh, I don't see the things getting any better. I'm, I've been in the IT world for, for ages, but uh, I don't see the situation getting, getting improved. And I see the attention that are still in making sure that those guys are happy. I don't, I don't mean we shouldn't be doing it. I think that we should be making sure that we reserve a part of our time, a part of our attention, a part of our budget in making sure that this area is clean. Because if this area are clean, we can really go out and do the other two important things making sure that uh, we are teaching digital to the rest of the organization and we are trying to bring uh, these tone cats in being more reactive to the digital and making sure that the commercial people, the marketing people, are getting the real services that, uh, uh, that they deserve. And probably the, the poor CEO here is not going to fire us in the next uh, few months and we are going to retain our job. 
Thank you to everybody for the attention. And